This is uh, the first time I've tried to tape the new acrylic puddle and pour works using these special bottles. That's the new trick. And we're going to listen to uh, the Zero Seven album that I've been playing. Freeform, musically inspired improvisations. And you'll see. Let's let's give it a shot. And, uh, I'll, I'll talk a little bit. Like I, I, I got this thing with the glitter glue. <laughs> got some glue. Just back with the glue.
That's some goodness. So I've always had a huge influence of listening to music. Rhythm has been a big part of my painting career forever. But now it's, it's integral to, to what I'm creating and, and this idea that I can improvise. The other thing that's really important to understand here is I'm creating a topography first. And I, I do have some stills, hopefully I'll put in. This is, this is basically modeling paste and I'm using blades and palette knives and I'm improvising these landscapes. And that gives a topographic surface so that, that the paint can flow and morph and run in certain ways and it gives these paintings a very unique final look and that's one thing I've really enjoyed recently about my work is when I'm done and I walk away it's still moving and I'm not exactly sure where it's going to end up. Now with the oil it's often very extreme but this is a little bit more subtle but I'm getting these great effects as the paint pools and runs and, and basically it coalesces around objet and things in the way. Okay, here we are. It's Monday, January 15. We just did this little ditty. Um, just, <laughs> uh, just starting with globs of glitter glue. And then going from there, you know, listening to some Zero seven kinds of tracks. But I just talked to Jeremy Levy Sanson. And um, we're, we're scheming to get some shoots going in Palm Springs and here, here in Yucca and, and maybe even, um, hopefully, at Spaghetti Western. But I, I could just see, you know, using some of his recordings and do some gypsy jazz. Uh, that would be, <laughs> I think it's perfect for this. Anyway, we're, we're still back in the, trying to be as feminine as possible. And we're pink, pink, pink. And we're gotten glitter. And we're gluey and stringy. And we're just having fun with the gluey, stringy, wet, wild, wicked, gleaming, dripping, pouring, Music abstraction. And that's the report for January 15th, 2024. There it is. Okay, here's the one. It's wet. It's uh, 07. I guess we're calling it Destiny. Looking like it's still moving. And we've got we've got some nice uh, the black fell into a fairly wet. The edge is kind of hard, but I'm gonna show you some edges. You can see it's a little soft and there's a little bit of a a blur factor in there. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a little wetter than I've been getting that rope of black claws sank in a little bit, so you know, a big glob on it. You can see the dimension of it. That's glue, so it's going to settle down a little bit. It'll end up sinking in. Um, yeah, these, they're just fabulous, I think. There's some of that. Paint, some metallic cobalt blues. Okay, so that's just one half. There, there, there. You can see the the sinking in. Yeah, that's where you get that little bit of a wet edge. Love that. It's uh, an alchemy. You have no complete control over it. It's just a feel and. Figured I was about ready, and I was happy because it was 
Not sinking too much, but just enough to give me a little bit of a, oh yeah, blurrier edge. We like the blur. We like some motion blur. That's my thing. We're doing motion blur. Yeah, look, look at that one. Yeah, you see that? That's that wet edge. You get a little halo. Fabulous. <laughs> it's the nature of materials. I did that very gesturally, very quickly. As, as you see on the video, it's done spontaneously, and then you just walk away with it. It's that Zen intent. Be fierce, be focused, and leave it alone. And that's how we do our paintings. That's the way I like to paint. And you don't get it by doing it <laughs> noodled edge by edge. When I was younger, I tried to paint all the edges just with the brush. Crazy. You know, now I let the materials take their stand here yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pause it and then switch to the other side here destiny there's some of that big old blue glob some of those first snotty little strokes you can see it there that's down in the, the panel there's also some gluey snottiness in that one and uh, you'll, you'll never see everything that's the beauty of this and, I've always enjoyed making paintings that are so complex that you can't see them all. It's been years. Look, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's too, yeah, so that's a little too close. I'm getting this. Whatever that pastiness with the glue and glitter. I like that brand. So, you know, I, I, I buy some stuff at Michael's or order something online and and see what it does, and I make note of the stuff that I really like. Almost everything's worth trying just to see what its material nature is, what its consistency is, and then you get your favorites. And then uh, you go from there, and you keep making these music, abstraction, improvisations. You know? So there's the two panels. They're, they're pulled apart. And I will assemble them later after they're dry. And we'll get uh, some final shots of the finished work.